I'm very anxious right now. I'm anxious because we're on a time deadline. I'm anxious in that well, I've gone through that first hesitation of what have I made? Where you've made it, you've made models of it, you've studied it as best you could, then you, yep, so you give it to someone, they fabricate it, and there's that blankness waiting for the piece to come back, and hopefully it's as you expected it to be. I debated whether I'm going to polish, and then I sort of like the effect how the water will make it look Yes, yeah, it, it is very shiny right now with, a, yeah. with that sheet on it. You can clearly see the, where, the, where the pieces are going together. Uh, and the rotate bottom. the box. And a, and a frame. Yeah. And okay, right. Box. And that'll be in three days, you think? Or yes. More? I would have loved to see the thing turned right side up because it's such an abnormally large circle so that when you walk right up to it, the bottom disappears. All you see is this flat, circular plane which will float the names. And I would have loved to have seen that here, but can't have everything. When Morris Dees approached me to design a memorial to civil rights, I knew that I really wanted to come down at least with a definition for me of what that would be in a verbal way before I found a form for it. And I think that's very important that I want to understand conceptually what the piece is about or what it what its nature should be before I actually go visit the site. Because once I see the site, I tend to start designing. After three months of, of research and reading, there was an essence, there was a spirit of that movement. And if I could just strip it bare and get that, that spirit. And um, as I'm going down on the plane to meet the Southern Poverty Law Center group, I come across Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. And I get to the line, and we shall not be satisfied until justice flows like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. And I knew right then the piece would be about water, that it would be the use of water that would tie the elements together. I knew there'd be two elements, a specific retelling of the history, and then this quote. I didn't know much about the civil rights era, and that's what really scared me. All the events took place as I was growing up. It was not brought to my attention in school. It was barely dealt with. What was very important in the civil rights memorial, it wasn't just going to be something that memorialized individuals that we could name. As important was the entire historical event at which point you begin to memorialize history. My choice of a timeline, a table of events that intertwine people's deaths with political and legislative acts that either happened because someone died or because of better legislation, riots ensued where people died. So you really begin to see a cause and effect and how people actually help to change history. Belton, go get one of Rogan's drawings of the water table and how it looks at the bottom. Have you got one? It's more of an optical illusion right now because you're seeing all these boats and everything else. Right. I think we all felt we were part of a very special team. And once you begin to be a very sort of team-spirited group, then things work magically for you. I mean, he would tease me because I kept specifying this perfect concrete or this perfect that, and it was it was a joke that went around, but um, I knew I could really trust them because I could just tell that they were really caring about this project. Yeah. 
Yeah, we won't bump it down as low as we can get it and still keep it coming over. Yeah, that's a good line. Now, have they taken it down, the water down? Not anymore. If you cut, Lamar, have you cut it down anymore? Well, how much flow are you planning on, Mike? As low as she can as get. As low as we can get it to get it covered over the whole wall. Get it to come over the top. Really Again, what it is, is you're getting a, a two lines that come down to one end exit point, and that's where you've got too much volume water. See, all these are just like single that come down and flow through a bigger surface. So when you get to these little points. Okay, so what do you do about it? We'd have to fill it with um, an epoxy and prime marine base that's not going to yellow over time. The use of water was a very critical element. What we were doing was almost making water turn the table and literally flow under so that you could touch and change the path of the water as you read this history. Psychologically, I wanted people to be able to feel like they really were a part of making this piece come alive. 